Hello everyone, I'm Jen, your Delaware Realtor. Welcome back to my channel if you are new here. I'm a local Delaware real estate agent that basically covers the entire state because we are so small. So whether you're looking to buy or sell in Delaware, I would absolutely love the opportunity to help you. My information is down below in the description, so please feel free to send me an email. Okay, so today I am going to do my most requested video, which is Delaware homes for sale under $350,000. The reason that I haven't done this video up until now is because honestly, it was very difficult to find homes that were under $350,000. But because this is so requested, I wanted to make sure that I provided the video that you are asking for. I tried to find a home in each one of the counties. So Newcastle County, Kent County, and Sussex County. I went on the MLS and the only filters that I put on was in fee simple to make sure that the land is actually owned and is not land leased. I removed any senior communities or senior homes, which honestly was probably only three. And I also put in that it had to be in either Newcastle, Kent, or Sussex County and under $350,000. I will say not a lot came up and some of these homes actually need a little TLC. So we're just gonna look at the potential of the home and there are some really nice and unique opportunities out there. But just remember, we're looking at the bones of the home and the potential. Some of these are move-in ready, don't get me wrong, but some of them definitely need some TLC. So without further ado, here are six different homes under $350,000 in Delaware. Okay, so this one is in Camden, Wyoming, so which is in Kent County. It is listed for $330,000. It is a three bedroom, two and a half bath. It is 2,268 square feet and it was built in 1986. So this is a ranch style home, but it does have a basement. This one sits on 1.03 acres. So let's take a look inside. So the grass looks like it's really, really nice. It is a brick style home, which you don't really see very much anymore, especially in new construction. It's more vinyl siding. So this one, you can tell by the age that it definitely was built in the 80s, but it's really nice outside with all of the bushes and it does have a small porch. So you could set up right here for coffee or maybe you could do maybe like a love seat type thing here. All right, so coming into the kitchen, like I said, some of these homes do need a little bit of TLC, meaning some updating, uh, which this one, yes, I would say this one needs a little bit of updating. Um, so it is a U style kitchen, plenty of cabinets, but lots of potential. So this could be opened up right here, maybe into this dining room area and make it into a larger kitchen. And then you also have this nice window right here is to be able to look back out at the scenery, which it looks like you back up to farmland, which is kind of nice, you're private. But yes, definitely needs a little bit of updating in the kitchen. Same thing goes with the living room, but it does have this gorgeous fireplace and I would just either rip out the carpets or you could do LVP flooring, lots of potential here, a little bit of paint, a little bit of flooring. And it's a brand new room. <laughs> Same thing with that dining room. And this is, it looks like this could just be another living space, uh, which is right off of the back porch. But I love these beams. I would probably just take out this, these tiles right here and put in drywall and then leave the beams and exposed beams are gorgeous like lots and lots of potential if you don't have the money to switch out these wood paneling you could always paint this wood paneling like a white or a gray and lots of potential you do have the because it is a ranch style home you do have the laundry on the same floor as your bedrooms and it looks like there is a small powder room right here and then we have the primary ba uh, bathroom, which then also, like I said, does need to be redone, but lots and lots of potential. It does look fairly large. They loved these style showers back in the 80s. <laughs> and I can say that because I had a shower like that. That's why I'm saying that. 
All right, so then we have bedroom number two and bedroom number three. Once again, a little bit of paint, a little bit of flooring, and it's a brand new room. This is that back porch that I was telling you about. This would be great. I would take down these curtains. I would take out these, this green carpet right here. And once again, a little bit of paint and you could have a nice little back porch area. I have a porch area and I absolutely love it, especially right now when it's like not too hot, <laughs> not too cold. And it's really, really nice. You could put a TV out here. You could, oh my gosh, there's so many, you could put your plants out here. So many different possibilities. And it does have a unfinished basement, which you could use for a storage area, or you could finish this depending on how high these ceilings are. Now, back then the ceilings weren't that high, but I mean, my ceilings aren't that high and I finished my basement. I also live in a school level, so. Uh, but right here is the water heater. So making this maybe into like a water closet and then having all of this area either for storage, like I said, or finishing it. It does have a big garage out back, which looks like it has two doors and then an entry door. So you could maybe put like if you have, let's see, I don't know how if that might be big enough for a boat, but maybe just like if you have a backhoe or you buy a backhoe or you could put your lawnmower in here, I would definitely recommend a zero turn with all of this grist that needs to be cut. Oh yeah, here should, this is what it looks like inside. It is huge inside. Or maybe you are someone that likes to work on projects. Plenty of space for that as well. And then this is the back of the home. It does have a garage off the back as well. Personally, I would probably, personally just me, I would take that out knowing that you have this shed and or you could park your car in there or you can make this into a finished living space again. Lots and lots of potential with this one. And that, like I said, is in Camden, Wyoming, and it is listed for $330,000, and it sits on 1.03 acres. So you get a little bit of land in Kent County for under $350,000. That's a steal. All right, let's go to the next one. This one is in Dover. It is a townhome. It is listed for $215,000. This is a two bedroom, one and a half bath. It is 1,120 square feet and it was built in 1984. Let's take a look inside. Does look like it has a new roof, but we will double check on that. So coming in, it has a storm door and a um, an exterior door, which is nice, which means that you can open up this door and have more natural light come into the front door. It has this gorgeous bay window right here, which is in the kitchen. And then we they have redone the kitchen in here. We have these gorgeous cabinets with plenty of counter space for you. Your fridge would go here. There is a pantry right here. This is most likely big enough to put a small like bistro table inside of this kitchen if you wanted an eat-in kitchen or maybe for the kids to do some homework or something like that. I love this bay window. So gorgeous. Can you imagine decorating this for all the holidays? I love it. All right. So then they did do LVB flooring throughout the main floor. It has plenty of space for a sectional. Your TV can go on this side of the room or you could maybe use this half wall to put the sectional here and go TV here. It does have French doors out to the backyard and it should have a powder room. Yes, yeah, so as you're coming in to that, the powder room is gonna be this door right here. So as you're coming into the front door, you will have a coat closet, then it will come into the kitchen, then there is a powder room right here. This door right here is to the basement. So this is the powder room, nice and updated. This is one of the bedrooms. This is in the front of the house. There's a closet right here. And there should be a second closet over here, over here. Big size rooms. Um, the reason I know this information is because I have a listing that is very, very similar to the same setup. Uh, it seems like all of these townhomes have the same fl uh, floor plan. So that's how I know how these bedrooms are. <laughs> so this is what 
either could be considered the primary bedroom. Um, this is a walk-in closet right here. And then it does have access to the bathroom. The bathroom also has access to the hallway as well, because remember it's only one full bath and that's upstairs. And then the second powder room is downstairs. So then this is that full bath that we were just talking about with tile. It is updated. And then this is the basement. So this is a finished basement, which does need to be added. Well, I guess it's half finished, right? Cause it's kind of unfinished. So it does need some flooring and some drywall around the bottom. This is probably just to make sure if they ever did get a flood that they didn't have it rotting out the wood. Should have a sub pump back here though. All right, so then we have a deck area. This could be fenced in. You could do some landscaping or you could just have your like small little barbecue, do a little patio set back here. Yeah, actually this is my listing right here. No. <laughs> so um, lots of potential. It does come with a private driveway, as you can see right here, and it does come with a shed. So it is an interior home. Uh, the entrance to the community is right here, and then you pull in, and then that is the house that is for sale right here. All right, so once again, that is in Dover. It's listed for $215,000. Two bedroom, one and a half bath built in 1984. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, so this one is in Newark. This is also a townhome. It is a three bedroom, two and a half bath. It is 1,450 square feet. It was built in 2001 and is listed for $320,000. So it is the end of the row of townhomes. Has nice landscaping right here, which give you a little bit of privacy as you're walking in the door. Let's take a look inside. Okay, so, ooh, this one looks like it has brand new carpets. It has neutral paint. This is probably agreeable gray. Uh, as you're coming in, you have these beautiful two windows, which if they were open, I'm sure would give lots of natural light. Actually, this just shows you in the back. So this is right next, this is the eating kitchen part of the home. Lots of natural light, like I said. And it does have, ooh, it looks like a wraparound porch, nice. So coming in that front door, you have the stairs to go up or down right here. This is that front living room that we just saw. This is the kitchen. It is white with subway tile right here and it looks like granite countertops maybe. Uh, very neutral, you can do pops of color. There's plenty of, plenty of possibilities here. Nice faucet cabinets look like they're in good shape. You have that gorgeous window, not the window always near the sink. You have this island where it looks like if you wanted to, besides this trash can, you could probably put some seating right here, maybe some bar stools. It does have enough room for a dining room table right here. It looks like it's a good amount of space too. So you could probably do a rectangle table. You maybe like a six seater. Um, and then it does have, oh, they must have had some kind of like, uh, bar right here because it looks like you've put wine glasses right here. This is that powder room. Um, and this is upstairs. This is the primary bedroom. They have this ledge up here. I've seen people decorate this really nicely. I've seen people use it as storage for like handbags. Like there's so many possibilities <laughs> for this ledge up there. Um, this is the walk-in closet and the primary bathroom with double sink and a separate water closet. And we also have um, tile going all the way up to the ceiling for the shower. This is the bedroom, the other bedroom, the hall bath upstairs, other bedroom. This is downstairs with a fireplace. That is really nice. This is the basement. Um, they do have uh, what looks like curtains or something over top of the windows. Maybe they were doing like a movie room down there. It does look like it has new carpet down here as well. If not, if it's not new carpet, it looks like it's brand new. The laundry is downstairs in the basement, which also looks like it could be 
finished. You can make it into a cute little laundry room. Like I said, that there's that wrap around deck right here, which is really, this just looks like it's huge. So grill, you could do a dining room table out here, maybe a little bit of seating over here. It, there are stairs to go down to the grass area. You could probably fence this if you wanted to and be really cute, have a swing set or something like that outside for the kids. So that is also a great option. That one looks like it is absolutely moving ready. So that is in Newark. It is listed for $320,000. It's three bedroom, two and a half bath, and it is 1,450 square feet, built in 2001. Okay, so let's take a look at the next one. The next one is in Houston, which is, it's in Kent County, but it's on the edge of Sussex and Kent. This one is listed for $349,900 and it is a three bedroom, two bath. It is 1,224, I'm sorry, 1,024 square feet. And it is, it was built in 1969. It is a split level. So with split levels, the square footage is actually a little bit deceiving because the square footage only lists the top half of the house, not the bottom half. So which is kind of nice with split levels. I know this from experience. I only get taxed on the top half of my house, not the bottom, which is nice. This one sits on four acres, four acres for under $350,000. Now, this one, just bear with me. This one does need work. This one needs TLC. So let's take a look inside. This just kind of shows you where the house is and where the property lines are. Now that don't, you know, don't hold the realtor to this. Um, but lots of it is wooded, great landscaping. So this is the kitchen. Um, it does look like it has decent size or decent cabinets. Um, it does look like it's a decent size. Once again, just look past the seller's belongings. Just look at the bones of the house. All right. So then this is what looks like a living area space that would be downstairs because that would be the walkout downstairs. Does look like this might be a pellet stove, wood stove maybe. <laughs> um, I think it's a pellet stove, but I'm not sure. This is also that downstairs area. Once again, I would probably just scrape this popcorn ceiling off and either add your own drywall or just scrape it off and paint it. Um, then we have the bathroom. I'm not sure. I apologize. I'm not sure if this is on the top floor or the bottom floor. Then this is like what we're coming into the split level. These, the bedrooms are most likely on the top floor. This is a living room area, another fireplace. This most likely is the bathroom upstairs. Yes. Then we have one bedroom, another bedroom. It has a three car garage out back and it looks like it has another, it has, looks like it has two garages out back. So four acres, two garages, and maybe the house needs a little bit of work, but still doable for under $350,000. That's crazy. It does look like it has a little outhouse right here. <laughs> And this is what it looks like with the doors open. Lots and lots of space. This is great. Ooh, these look really clean inside. This just kind of gives you, oh, and it looks like it has this other shed type thing right here. I'm not sure what that looks like inside. It does have a fenced in backyard. Has a little pond that you could maybe put some like goldfish in. They get really big, by the way, when you put them in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that's some kind of shed. This just shows you a little bit of the land, which is really nice. This might be a chicken coop or maybe some animals. Oh, it does have a little deck off the back. That's really nice. So if you're looking for a serene area, this would be perfect for you. Or maybe you're an outdoorsman or maybe you just want privacy and want to live in the woods. Lots and lots of potential for this one. And like I said, like four acres for under $350,000 with a house on it that's in decent shape, 
decent shape does need a little bit of help um and with two sheds like that's really unheard of that one i just don't see lasting very long <laughs> once again three bedroom two and a half i'm sorry three bedroom two bath 1024 square feet like i said that's just the top half that does not include the bottom all right let's go to the next one all right this one is in claymont it is listed for $337,500. It is a three bedroom, one and a half bath. It is 1,175 square feet and it was built in 1960. All right, let's take a look at what this one looks like. This to me from the outside looks like your typical Newcastle County, Claymont area home. It is a ranch style home. It does have a pretty long driveway so I would say you probably are fitting anywhere I would say maybe three cars in here and it does look like it could be expanded if if you did want that it is a brick style home again coming into the front door we have this little eat-in area and a fairly decent size living room they look like they have like a good amount of furniture in here and it looks like it's on the bigger side so if you have furniture that's around the sides, this will kind of give you a good picture as to what yours would look like. And then this is like that better, a better picture of that dining room area, which then goes into the kitchen. So that's the front door. There's this like half wall here. There's a coat closet here. And then this is the kitchen. Ooh, and they added cabinets over here. You could also put uppers up over here or you could do open um, shelving right here if you maybe want to make this into like a coffee bar or maybe you want to make it into like a bar area with like wine glasses or something like that lots of counter space and then we have this is the primary bedroom this does look like it is a queen to king size bed plenty of room to walk on either side of the bed does have a closet and then we have bedroom number two. Sorry, I don't know why that jumped. Bedroom number three. And this is the full bath. And then this is a bonus basement room. Okay, this is really nice. So perfect for entertaining. Or if you wanted to make this into a workout room or something like that, the carpet looks like it's brand new. There is a bathroom in the basement and then this is where your laundry is in the basement as well which could be finished plenty of storage area in the basement and the backyard is fenced in there is looks like there's a little shed right here plenty of room for a swing set or maybe in not an in-ground pool but an above ground pool this is great. Oh, and it does have bill code doors. So if you did need to get out of the basement, that's the way out. Perfect. All right. So that one, like I said, is listed for $337,500. It is in Claymont. It's a three bedroom, one and a half bath home. All right. That one is move in ready. Let's take a look at the next one. This one is in Millsboro. So I tried to find one in Sussex, Sussex County for you as well. This one is listed for $299,900. It is a three bedroom two bath 1612 square feet and it was built in 1997 and it sits on 0.34 acres so let's take a look inside this one does have a two-car garage which looks like it's like fairly big <laughs> we have a little bit of landscaping out front which is so cute we have that front porch so if you don't go into the garage if you are coming in with groceries that's going to be perfect for not getting rained on just kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like from above. You do have that uh, driveway. Ooh, it looks like it has LVP flooring throughout. Does look like it has a large living room as you come into the front door. Lots of natural light with these two front windows. It's very open. So you, as you come in, you're then going to go into this kitchen. Look at all those cabinets. Wrap around kitchen with an island. Lots of space here. You could put a couple bar stools right here and sit at the island 
uh, to have some breakfast or maybe even some dinner, but it does still have an area for a dining room table. And as you can see, they have a hutch here, so there's plenty of room right here. This is off the back of the house, which I would consider probably a Four Seasons room or a morning room. Lots of windows, lots of extra added um, entertainment space, and it's very open to the kitchen. This is one of the bedrooms, different angles of the primary bedroom. This is the primary bathroom, which does have a soaking tub plus the stall shower and double sink vanity. That is also another bedroom, bedrooms. This is the hall bath. And this is the laundry room, which is on the same floor, which looks like it'd be a mud room actually. So it looks like, yep, so it's right here. So you're gonna come into the garage, there is a mud room, which is your laundry room, uh, which could be redone and really, like you could put a bench here, make it super cute, maybe put a mop sink in here. Plenty of room to do that, especially if you have kids and they have backpacks and all of their stuff, sports gear, you could put something right here, like maybe to like hide all of that. Uh, it does have a ramp, which looks like it could be taken off because there are stairs still here, right here. It has a gorgeous deck off the back. Plenty of room, like we always say, about the pat like patio furniture or a barbecue. It does look like actually it has multiple ways to get out back. It does have a shed and a fenced in backyard with a chain link fence, yes. So this kind of just gives you an idea of what it looks like from above. Lots and lots of space potential for this one. And this one is in Millsboro. So you're close to the beach, enjoying that retirement life, or maybe you're just looking for a second home or maybe just to move to the beach. So once again, this one's in Millsboro. It is listed for $299,900. Three bedroom, two bath, 1,612 square feet, built in 1997. Okay, so there you have it. There are six different homes spread out throughout Delaware. It was a little difficult to find uh, homes to show under $350,000, but a lot of these homes either have a lot of potential or they are move-in ready. Now, I'm sure as we come into the spring market, I'm hoping that we get more homes that are in this price range. Um, if there is one of these homes that you are interested in, please feel free to send me an email. I really hope that this video helped. If it did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you are a buyer that is looking to purchase in Delaware, I would absolutely love the opportunity to help you. My information is down below in the description, so please feel free to send me an email. If you are a seller that is looking to sell your property in Delaware, it is a great time to do so. <laughs> There's a link down below in the description for an instant valuation of what your home is worth. Once again, I really hope that this video helped. If it did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next one. Hey, if you're thinking about moving to Delaware, you should definitely check out this video right here. And if you would love to tour Delaware communities with me, check out this playlist right here. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel.